Israel carried out yet another airstrike in the Syrian port of Latakia, according to the Syrian news agency Sana. The Israeli warplanes fired missiles on the port off the coastal city of Latakia on Tuesday morning, causing large explosions and fires. Now remember, what's important to note uh, is that this happens to be Israel's second such strike in the last one month. In the latest attack, Israeli missiles fired from the Mediterranean struck the Syrian port of Latakia, targeting the container yard at the port. And now the city is a principal port in the city of in Syria, and this is located on the Mediterranean Sea. It is located about 45 kilometers southeast of Syria's border with Turkey. So its location is significant, and it acts as a vital gateway into Syria for all goods of all kinds. The port also accommodates tankers, container ships, and vessels carrying cargoes. Latakia is also an important facility where much of Syria's imports are brought into the country, including huge amounts of cargoes coming in from Iran. The strike that took place at about 6.51 a.m. IST ignited a fire in the container terminal, damaging facades of a hospital even and some residential buildings and shops as well. According to the local news agency, the firefighters were battling flames for nearly an hour after the attack. Visuals on your screen now show the extent of the damage, with flames and smoke rising from the attack terminal. The attack that was launched from the Mediterranean side targeted the Syrian towns of al Hafe and Masyaf. Apart from this, the missile also struck a civilian plastic warehouse, killing one person and wounding about six. This is not the first time that Israeli missiles have targeted Syrian ports. On December 7th this month, Israeli warplanes flying over the Mediterranean Sea fired several missiles in the Syrian port of Latakia yet again, which led further to five explosions at this crucial port. Since the civil war broke out in Syria in 2011, Israel has carried out hundreds of airstrikes on Syrian territory. It has targeted government positions as well. Meanwhile, Tehran has backed the forces, including Lebanon's Hezbollah, that have been deployed over the last decade to support Bashar al-Assad in Syria's war. In 2019, Syria had announced it was planning to turn over the container terminal in Lat at the port in to Iran. And earlier this year, Iran said that it was planning to set up direct shipping lines between Latakia and one of its southern ports. Russia, which along with Iran has helped the Assad government regain control of crucial territories, much of Syria in general, operates an airbase only 20 kilometers away from this port. The Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, meanwhile, alluding to the strike, said that the Israeli ministry was constantly fighting bad forces in the Middle East. For more on this, our correspondent Jody Cohen has sent us this report from Jerusalem. Have a look. Israel has acknowledged in the past that it targets Iranian forces in Syria and Iran allied terror groups, particularly along its border with Syria. It has also said it targets arms shipments making their way to the terror groups. However, it allegedly rarely strikes close to Latakia because of the Russian presence there. And as a matter of policy, the Israel Defense Forces has not commented on the Syrian claims on Tuesday. This is Jody Cohn for Weon, World is One. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.